other thing I want to mention, this, this last week um, I popped along to the new conservative meeting and this is another thing they say that churches shouldn't be political. Well, why not? Okay. When you see what the politicians are doing to our nation at the moment and legalising, like euthanasia is not a ministry to euthanasia, you know. <laughs> euthanasia is aimed at us old guys like me. They're wanting to pot us off. It's assisted suicide. <laughs> it's insane. Because over here we're trying to stop people commit suicide, like we've got one of the highest suicide rates in the world, and over the other side we're trying to legalise it. So we've got, we've got a crazy government out there. I was talking to Corey and, and, um, and, and Helen and some other people in church have got a little bit involved with the New Conservative Party. And, and um, there's a couple of things, I'll be honest. One of the things they, that they stand on quite strongly is that they believe that there should be binding referendums. So remember when the Homosexual Law Reform Bill and some of those legalisation of prostitution, I think the legalisation of prostitution bill, there were 800,000 New Zealanders signed a petition against that bill. The government in the day just ignored the whole thing and went ahead and changed the law anyway. Um, the only problem I see with the binding referendum is that as society is spiralling down into wickedness and a lack of the knowledge of God, um, if you go to the people and say, hey, we want to legalise same-sex marriages, the likelihood is that there's more people out there today in the world, in our world, that would vote for it than against it. Because what's happening in our society is we're losing our values, you know, the very things that, that uh, make us who we are. And um, I, said to, I said to Corey last, or a couple of weeks ago, and I said, I want to go, I want to see a party, you know, because National have got weak and wimpy. They've got a Christian leader, actually, but they just don't seem to have, I don't know what the spiritual term is, it like the nuts to stand up and make a real stand for things. I think that's the biblical term for it. You know, why don't they just come out? Why doesn't he just come out and say, I'm the leader of the National Party. I oppose abortion. I don't want the law changed. I oppose same-sex marriage. I don't want the law changed. I oppose the legalisation of prostitution. I oppose, you know, why don't, they, why don't they have some moral fortitude? Anyway, I went along to a meeting the other night, Aranui Community Centre, and because um, and, uh, I was grumbling and moaning about the politicians and, so Leighton and the guy from Auckland, I forgot his name, it doesn't matter though, but they got up and they just spoke about the party and who they were, what they're doing. They were full on. They were just full on. They just, they just, yeah, had our, you know, like the values of the scripture, the word of God. They didn't push the Christian side of things, but they just got up and said, we're opposed to um, um, abortion. And, and they just went through all of the things that I'd been complaining about and they stood up one after another. They hit all of those major topics, and made a stand. Yeah, they made a stand. So um, I wasn't going to do this, but they have a meeting on Monday night somewhere in Ireland. You're going to have to find that yourself. But I'd encourage you, go and have a look. Go and, if you get an opportunity, go and have a look at these guys because election's coming up, you know, and if we get the wrong government again, like we did last time, they don't deserve to be in power. They didn't get the majority of the votes, you know, and they're taking us down a slippery slide. I love being political. It just sort of rocks things up. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. I actually thought this is what I'm going to suggest to the conservative guys. I think they should start the election now. But you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see like, a, like an app or a, something where you could go on and you could vote now where you actually go in, because they, if they're going to get in, they may not win a seat, though. they might need 140,000 people in New Zealand that have some, we might call it traditional values, some real values. They need about 140,000 to give them the party vote to get into power, to actually have an influence on our government. They won't govern, but they'll be influential in there. And I thought, well, I've been thinking about it, I woke up and I thought, man, we should, they should set something up. Well, we start voting now, we go and put our name down, and, and vote, vote for the party because of the principles that they stand for that so align with our biblical principles, it's, it's exciting. And, um, and we should actually, so when it comes election day, you know, we already, crossed the, we already crossed the line, we just walk in, all those people that made a pre-commitment go in there and vote it in and start to bring a little bit of goodness and change and a bit of integrity 
uh, in, into our political system. Anyway, that's my political blurb for this morning. And uh, take it or leave it. And uh, yeah, give it a give. 